Yo guys, what's up? Coke Cinema here, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a tutorial on how to piss off the bus driver. And yes, he is very fucking pissed. It's so funny because like, if you uh, if you piss him off enough, he'll throw you out of the window and he'll throw you out of the or throw you out of the bus and lock the door so you can't get back in. So um, I had me and my friends help. I had my friends help me. Um, my friend is Cameron. He didn't really have a YouTube. And then my friend Chris, Back Alley Arcade, and um, I had them help me with with doing this, so I kind of had them just protect me and stuff. But I was pissing them off so much that eventually, yeah, see, look, he just threw me, and now I walk over to the doors, and it doesn't give me the option to open them. And it threw, I think, yeah, it threw Chris out of the bus, and me and Roadkill Cameron were still in the, we're still in the bus, and we can't get out to open the doors, and he can't get back in, so he's kind of just like stuck out there. So that's that the kind of shitty part is uh, don't stand near the doors because what he does is he opens the doors and all of a sudden you move just towards that side like immediately you go flying towards that side of the bus hoping that it, see look he just did it again just try to throw me hoping that it'll um or hoping that he'll kick you out and um that's how he that's just how he gets back at you for being all. Like, or that's how you get how he gets back at you for like knifing him and stuff, and he always like cusses at you. He says, "Fuck you," or something and stuff like that. And he'll uh he'll, he says he calls the cops all the time. He always says the authorities have been alerted to your position. And uh, I think you can hear it. I don't know. I don't. I don't have a sound on. Hang on. Let's see. Yeah, it also has our voices on it. So, um. And then you, if you, if you stay in the bus and keep knifing him when you're at a bus stop, say you, you're really trying to skip a bus stop, what you do is get on the bus, run around for like 20 seconds, then get back in the bus and tr shut the doors and start knifing him, and he'll go really, he'll he'll end up taking off really fast. That's just what I've learned, and it's worked for me every time. I don't know if it'll work for you. See, look, he just tried to throw me out of the bus again. Get your ass off my bus! Yeah, <laughs> he locks the door so you can't get back in. It's just kind of it's just kind of a way for him to leave you to the uh, little brain jockey thing, so like killing your head and guys, I'm back. Guys. so he just tried to throw me out again. Oh, you're running again. I'm pissing him off that bad. Yeah, and then Chris, as you can hear, Chris just died. So um. We keep, we keep, just keep standing here knifing him the entire time. And actually, my friends, I'll put a link to the video in the description. My friends, Cameron, Ross, and Darren. This is the reason why I wanted to do this because I wanted to see if I could piss him off enough. My friends, Cameron, Ross, and Darren, ended up like knifing him and shooting him so much that he stopped the bus in the middle of nowhere. Oh shit! See, look, he kicks me off. The door's locked. I'm like. Cameron, oh, we have a problem. I walked you out of the bus. <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. He was in the bus. Take that back. And then, um, he can just turn. Eventually, you can get him to see. If you can see right now, he's sparking. But eventually, we ended up stopping because we died. But, um, yeah, that's, that's like, um, that's what you can do. Like, you can, you can eventually turn him off, I think. If you just keep knifing him, and he'll turn off for eventually. And if you keep doing it after he turns off, you can see I shot his eyes out. Um, if you keep doing it after he shuts off, again he'll come back like after like five minutes. And after he comes back, then you do it again, and he'll eventually just stop for good, I think, and just let leave you for dead. Oh, I just saw that. See, you know what I was doing was I was um. I was buying a bunch of- oh, I didn't have enough money to buy ammo. This is where we end up going down because I didn't have any money to buy ammo. And I had no ammo in either of my guns, so I was trying to get ammo. But see, I would, I would be trying to throw nades <laughs> and get points. And then Cameron would walk over and just shoot all the zombies behind the boss. But oh, thank you, you do today. So now we actually just like try to survive, I think. Oh, maybe we try to turn on the power. I don't know, but I think the video is over. Oh yeah, I end the video here. So um, oh wait, no, I end the video in like a minute. Oh shit! See, I have to sit here and try to knife in the boss, and that just doesn't it doesn't work. So I just I just like get pissed off and I just keep shooting the shooting the bus driver. <laughs> oh, 
like fuck you, it's all your fault. Fuck you. Fuck you, you took all my ammo. I'm not right, I'm staying here. And I tried to eventually just make him stop. But since I was di dead and Chris was dead, I think I think it killed Cameron too. Wait, what it does is he won't, he doesn't really get pissed at you at first. He's like, please display courtesy to the automatic driver, and then all of a sudden he starts to get pissed off and like starts cussing at you. And he's like, fuck you, get off my fucking bus, you're a bitch. That's like what he says. I'm literally quoting him, not lying. But um, yeah, that's that's the end of this. How to piss off the bus driver on transit. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.